Hello everybody, this is Janice and I am here to share and um, hopefully show you how I made this card here. Um, I really have to make a lot of thank you cards. Um, lots of people have been so helpful to me throughout the summer as well as um, now for school and so I'm just constantly thinking of people that I need to thank and I don't think I'll ever be able to thank everybody enough for all their help and support. I actually went to uh, Michael's yesterday and they had this Hero Arts cling stamp on clearance for $2.99 and so I picked it up because I love the doodliness of the flower um, and that it's kind of an all-in-one and I thought oh I can use that to play with my distress markers so we're going to do a little bit of that and I'm going to try to move this video along quickly. The card base is a eight and a half by five, I'm sorry, eight and a quarter by five and a half piece of paper from Recollections from the Soda Pop um, pack of cardstock. And I'm just going to go ahead and score it here with my score buddy. Sometimes I just do a quick score and then I'm just not happy with it. I don't use my scoring tool. So, so that's an 8 2 size card there. And then we're going to round the corners real quick with my We Are Memory Keepers corner chomper. This is just a regular corner chomper, and we're just going to do two corners. And then this came from a pack of paper that I got at Big Lots, probably not last summer, probably two summers ago. It's this GCD Studios. It's called Margarita. And we're going to do the same thing. And this one I cut at four by five and a quarter. Okay, and that's going to go there, but before we do that, I wanted to do some distressing. I've got my green here. I'm going to use the Forest Moss Distress Ink because these are the colors that I'm using to color in my image. So I'm just working on my little craft sheet here. I almost bought another craft sheet yesterday at Michael's because they're so re my this is really old I've had it for quite some time and I use it so much but I decided to get my UT yesterday with my 40% coupon because I have no UT and I have some projects that I really want to work on and so I thought I better oh before I stick this down I want to add a little something to my card here. Um, let's see. I wanted to give it a little bit of character. Most of this is not going to show. It's just going to be the edges, but I wanted it to look like a polka dot background paper. So I'm just using Versamark ink just to give it a watermark. And like I said, it's really the edges that I'm mostly interested in because that's what's going to show. So I'm just running my fingers along the edges. And you can barely see it, but it's just a slight little detail. And I'm just going to take and distress the edges. I'm using spiced marmalade. And I think I'm getting a little bit of green on there from before because I didn't wipe it. So, um, we're on week two of school, and everything is going nicely, and I feel like 
we're starting to settle into a routine. Um, it's all working out nicely. The homeschooling and the principal work is lining up nicely because our school, Orange County Academy, is a small school. There's only 40 students. And so I can teach my son at the same time and be a presence there at the same time. And it's all working very nicely. You can't even see those polka dots. <laughs> oh well. I think I need maybe one that has tinier dots is what I need. So anyway, there's that base. Okay. Now, um, for the next element, I got this from the Elegant Edges Cricut cartridge. I'll show you what I did here. Basically, um, let me show you here. Okay, if you tap down on this, it shows you where it came from. And of course it's already on there, but I just wanted to show you that little tidbit of, of information. And what I did was I went to the oblong frame and I got, which one is it? Um, hmm. Sorry, maybe it's, okay, there it is. It's that third one right there. And so I, I grabbed that. There it is on my mat. But I did two at two different sizes because I wanted them to nest on top of each other. So the piece that is pink here is this one. I cut that one, if you want the measurement, at 6.27 height. And then the white one is 5.06. And I hid the contour. And to hide the contour, what you do is you go to Advanced. You go here. If it, you got to make sure it's selected. It should be blue. And then when you go there, you can hide. You can just select whatever thing you want to see there. It shows it. It's red. And then if you hit Hide, it hides it and it won't cut out. So I did those two. And then I ran the pink one through the birds and swirls cuddle bug embossing folder. And then those two are going to get layered together. And this is just a pink for recollections. I don't remember which pack it is. I really I have so much paper. It's ridiculous. But I really like those recollections papers and I love making my own just um, customizing the paper so I can make my own backgrounds and things. That's probably my weakness is buying that Recollections paper. I don't even buy background paper that much. Okay, and we're going to use the, some Recollections dimensionals. And then what I've done is I took a piece of seam binding and I tied it around this block. This is a... Um, two and a half by two and a half inch block and I know that this is going to fit around here. See it's how it's almost the size of it. So I just use this as my helper and then I slip it off and then I cut it because I want it to be one to one side I kind of cut it close to the bow and then now I can tape it. See that? It's a whole lot easier than, for me anyway, it's easier to do it this way. I'm going to just get some scotch tape. And I like that bow to be all the way to the edge. And then we're going to go around and tape it. Tape the other side. Oops. And then I really like putting a button there in the middle of the bow to dress it up even more. So my husband and I, 10 minutes last night, looking for this button in my big button jar because I really wanted it to be that same button. And then I just ran a piece of black jute through it. 
and then I'm going to take my Tombow Multi. This actually works for buttons. You can use glossy accents as well or quick dry. Any of those work. And we're just going to go ahead and let those two things, let that dry. So I'm going to set that aside and um, stay tuned for part two of my thank you card. Thanks for watching.